Good morning. Um, swear it's a different day, but I'm wearing the same sweatshirt because honestly, this thing is so comfortable. Um, I just finished my Bible reading for the day. Um, I do it on my phone because honestly, the physical Bible is like really heavy and like I wouldn't be able to lift it on my own. So, um, yeah. Mom is at church. Well, actually, it's from 7.30 to 8, and it's 8.05, so honestly, she should be on her way. And she should be calling me in, like, 30 seconds. Um, but, um, I have a doctor's appointment at 9 a.m., but it's via, like, not Zoom, but, like, that's what I call it. It's, like, a secured platform I don't even know there's like 15 different ones um so I have to do that that shouldn't take too long and then on Monday I have another doctor's appointment oh my god I don't know if I told you this or I told my best friend this or whatever but I kind of feel like I am like in a fishbowl right and everybody's just like poking me with things to do with like you know medical and just like all this like I I don't know if I blocked it out from when I was little but I don't like ever remember it being like this bad like not bad but like so many things like eyeglasses and this that and the other thing and like that doesn't even matter like that took two seconds and it would have taken two seconds if that lady listened to me in the first place but whatever but you know I don't know just feeling overwhelmed <laughs> and um yeah uh but this weekend is gonna be kind of fun because on Sunday we have this thing um with my aunt to uh I don't know it's like a hold on hey guys sorry uh I had a doctor's appointment on like zoom and then I had to have coffee do you not love this coffee mug from Emily Baker <gasps> it's so pretty my friend Deb got it for me for Christmas and then uh, what did I do after that oh and then I was talking to my good Judy Lisa and then here I am uh, what time is it oh my god it's only 10 13 I feel like I've been awake for forever even though I really hadn't I got up at like well I woke up at like 6 33 or something at seven on the clock and then I've been like giving myself like 15 to 20 minutes for my body to wake up and that seems to be helping um like I said there's no like my doctor couldn't give me like a dry like a cut and dry is that the saying? I don't even know. Answer as to what was happening, but that's a, that's a hard thing with, like, a broken body is that, like, you know, you're like, oh, are we going to, like, get through the day today, or are we going to be on the floor, or crying, or, you know, whatever. Um, so, yeah. Everything is all good. Um... And yeah, oh, I meant to ask you, ask you guys something. I have had Instagram for like 10 years now. I think I was like 15 when I opened mine. Um, but recently, like within like past two days, it was after that like nationwide outage thing where like my friend called me. She thought she had lost her account with all her pictures. Truly, honestly, I wouldn't care because, like, the people that I am friends with on Facebook, like, I have also, like, know in, re like, the the ones that I truly actually talk to, like, I send cards to, like, we, like, we text each other, we FaceTime each other, like, I, like, you know, we have a relationship outside of Facebook, but <laughs> the thing is, I forgot that my group, one of my main group chats that, like, 
I I I'm gonna oh my god hold on slow down I forgot that one of my main group chats that I use with my friends I was like that's on messenger like what so I had to text them on my phone and like be like hey like Facebook is broken Instagram is broken um you know whatever but it we ended up getting back in like sooner than later and the other thing honestly the other thing i'd be pissed about is that i have like so many pictures of like my grandmother that like i don't even remember taking like ever like but so many good ones and like when they come up in my memories i like share them so they keep like they keep coming up and i'm like i'd be so mad even though like the, there's probably copies somewhere but like whatever anyway but so recently I guess I've just noticed it more because I keep like my ring ringer on and like my ringer it's not like I'm 90 years old my phone volumes on because I can't hear when it vibrates because usually I have the iPad going or a kid screaming or a dog barking something but like my Instagram notifications are crazy and it's not even like you know post went viral or whatever because I you know I'm a private account nobody cares but like I feel like I have notifications on for everybody but like I want instead of having to like tap through each notification like is there a way to see a list of like who you have notifications for and just like turn them all off because I googled it and nobody's found a way yet you could just turn it off in your settings but like i still want to know my dms and like you know all that other stuff but like i just don't want it popping on my phone constantly so any ideas any ideas no no okay well you'll let me know in the comments below we actually have a really good conversation section so thank you but now, now I'm going to go ask Instagram the same thing, my Instagram stories. Which, yeah, am I going to show up like this in my face, like, gross? Yes, yes I am, because you know what? We're people, and we're not perfect, right? Right. You can't even see that, but I think this window looks pretty cool. Um, it's the window from the door. But anyway, um, my grass is getting sprayed with some kind of something. And this boy wants to go outside. Oh my <laughs> Don't mind that ugly foot pedal. Oh my lord. I've had to replace that like three times. <laughs> Sully, I don't think you can go out, buddy. Because I think the yard's getting sprayed for something. I don't know. I swear. They they come like once a week, it seems like. I look like a tomato. Well, not really. I don't look like a tomato now, but I was very tomato red looking because i did a boxing class um just so i can get like my like peloton gives you like an activity ring not an activity ring but like a a sticker or not, not even a sticker i don't know gives you something for like showing up every day and i've showed up every day for 83 weeks in a row and i'm like oh i can't miss today you know uh but i'm going to get on my bike and do the one mile today i'm not going to do the 45 minutes because honestly i'm just I'm overwhelmed with life um but yeah i'm gonna get the one mile in because that's been really fun to do get my steps in every day um but yeah apparently my mom's buying a car because she texted my sister and i so that's really cool i hope i like it i mean I'll have to like it, but like I hope it works. Cause it doesn't help that I'm short. She's short. The the best car, let me tell you, the best car we ever had was or my mom had for like us to be running around places was the Ford Flex. But hers broke like right before COVID, like right before the world shut down, which was Four years ago, this week, by the way, which is nuts. To think how much my life has changed 
in four years crazy but anyway like for the better some for the better some for the worse but mostly for the better um anyway but it, it like broke and it needed like all this repair and it was like where it was like better to buy a new car like a new used car or whatever than like repair it and stuff but oh my god i missed that car it had the most sturdy center console like it was like big and like you can gr like i could grab onto it you know and then like it had this button um, well, I think it was both sides of the, the driver and the passenger, but it had this button where you could move the seat forward, but it also had this button where, like, the seat could go up and down. I still needed a stool to get in there, but, like, so like, you can go up and down with the seat, and I was like, oh, that car is amazing. There's one other family that I know that has the car because their son has some... Um, medical issues too and every time I see it I'm like I missed that car that was the best car ever so hopefully this is comparable but like doesn't help that like she's I'm just a little bit shorter than her like she's got a couple girl honey I know I know I know you want to go outside but I don't think you can mommy hasn't replied yet I know and they've just been pacing all day What's the matter? What's going on? Oh, here's the guy. Yeah, he's right here. He's spraying. So I'm gonna go back over there so he doesn't see me. I think I might, <clears throat> I think I might have said this already, and if I did, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, it was like Doctor Doolittle up in here today because my three dogs were barking at God knows what the wind. We we might as have, might as well have our own like neighborhood security system because ain't nobody getting by this house without them knowing and then I had my um I had my headphones on for my zoom call because I wanted to be able to hear what she was saying but I want her to be able to hear what I was you know not that there's a microphone in here but you know Wanted her to not have a dog bark in her ear, that's all. Um, Sully, I know, baby. Um, but, so then, and then she was like, okay, hold on one second. Because her cat wanted to come into the room. And I was like, oh, my lord, it's Dr. Doolittle up in here. <laughs> what, Bubby? I know, I know. I know. My neighbor, that was, my, uh, my, uh, hold on. Alrighty, so it is 12.37. I'm going to get my one mile in, um, because the Peloton group that I'm with did, like, this challenge thing where you get, like, a mile either walking or running every day and instead of um just like turning it on and like doing a book i'm gonna take like a class which i haven't done in a while but i think i can do a 30 minute mile which is pitiful i know but um if i actually like focus then i can go faster obviously um and if somebody's like coaching me then it's not like as distracting as like oh audiobook or music or you know kind of thing so Sully is my trainer hi Sully you ready to go and um then we're gonna do this let's go so we are done one out of the three rings are done but they're close to being done and we did close to two miles and about almost 5,000 steps, 45, 4,400. Hey everybody, so it is 4.56 in the afternoon, almost 5 o'clock. Um, and my mom and I have just spent the afternoon 
uh, after I got off the bike, just kind of watch binge watching that um, Alaska show I was talking about yesterday. Um, it's called like Port Protection or something. I don't even know, but it's, it's very interesting. And it's on Disney Plus. There's like seven seasons. I was like, what? So there's probably like millions of shows that like I don't even know go on and then like I watch the same like 10 all the time um but yeah like a lot of a lot of you said that you would like you like think about living off grid a lot like I like it in theory like obviously like not like I wouldn't even say like just being away from people but just like how peaceful it is and like quiet and like you know you I could see, like, going there to, like, pray about stuff and just, like, you know, figure figure your life out, basically. But I couldn't do it all the time because I need to be around people. <laughs> I don't know if this is a shock to anybody, but I don't like being alone. Like, I don't, I just don't like being alone. Like, for extended periods of time, like, I like my alone time so, yeah, I could talk to my friends and I can, like, you know, have privacy to do that stuff, but I, like, need, um, people. Would you think it, you think it would be the opposite since I have so much help, like, since I require so much help to live, like, daily life, you would think it'd be, um, like, not that way, but it, but it is. So, but I still find it pretty interesting. We're on, she's on season two, I'm just, like, watching in the background whenever we sit down so there's like seven seasons um but can we talk about how light it is out still i love it oh. guys tuesday is daylight or this weekend is daylight savings i think oh great it's always on a weekend so then church the next day we're like screwed up what time it is but that's okay um at least the phones and like the ipads do it automatically and so well Actually, also, what does it automatically do is my pump inside of me, because that, that runs, like, on a 24-hour clock as well. Or, you know, like a clock, let's say, like, oh, start releasing medication at, like, 7 a.m., you know, kind of thing. I don't, I truly don't know what it does, but, you know, I try to not be, I try to not be, like, ignorant, but I try to just listen to what they tell me. And that's what I need to know. And that's it. Because, yeah. Um, but anyway, but yeah. So, my church on Fridays during Lent, which is the 40 days leading up to Easter, um, they do, like, meatless meals. So, like, pasta. Last week, they did, like, pierogies, which is, like, that Polish, like, it's almost like a ravioli thing. I don't know. <laughs> but um, my sister, my niece, and my parents are going. I would go because it's not like a restaurant. It's just like my church. But <laughs> a lot of old, well, not old people, but like a lot of people go and support them, which is good because it's like a, a fundraiser for the church, obviously. I'm just not like a people. Like, I don't like restaurants that they like just they're too loud even on like the quietest ones they're too loud like just mm, i'm not a, i'm not a restaurant but person which is funny because i did fine in disney but i think that was like just like adrenaline but like everyday life like i've been craving um i think they're everywhere like the chain texas roadhouse with like the steak and then those rolls that are really good but the problem is is that it's always busy like we went we went for my birthday my 25th birthday we went at like noon and it was like you you would think you would think it was like saturday it was busy um so i don't like crowd crowded places so um i just get like too it's too much so, like, e even at weddings, like, I have to wear earplugs because, like, ear, like, you know, like, concert earplugs normally because it's just too loud. And normally I'm sat next to the DJ, which is fine, but, like, I need that, like, 
blocking the noise. Um, but yeah, so they're just gonna bring it back, because it's only five to seven anyways, and they have the baby. Well, she's two, so she's not a baby, but she's a baby to me. So, but they'll be back for that. Um, and I've got to do my exercises for my therapist this week, which is like turning my neck and strengthening my neck. Holy crap. You wouldn't think like that, like something like this gives that much of a stretch, but wow. I didn't think that like every muscle in my body was like not affect. Like I knew like, obviously your brain affects the whole body. Right. But I'm just like, holy crap. So I see her on Wednesday. So we should see. But she's really she's really cool. And honestly, oh there's um I don't I don't know what kind of care they specialize in because she does all sorts of people, but there's a lot of old women there, old older people with like walkers and stuff, and I'm like Oh my god, my heart. You guys remind me of my grandmother. I love it so much. <laughs> and they're so cute. And they're just like hunched over. And it's adorable. Huh. But yeah, this is my this was my grandmother's favorite time of year. She loved Easter and she loved Christmas too. But mostly Easter because she hated the snow. She called it a four-letter word. <laughs> Oh, man, I miss her so much. But with that, I'm going to end this video here. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.